Hamza just called me a pussy in one of his latest videos. He was quite specific about it. Let me give you some context. I've been posting on YouTube every day for the last 150 plus days. The titles include 1% better day number. In fact, my catchphrase at the end of the videos is 1% better every day, baby. I chose this catchphrase and title because I'm documenting myself trying to get 1% better every day. Here I am in Germany right now visiting my YouTube accountability buddy whom I met online. We were watching Hamza on YouTube together and then we heard Hamza say this. If you want to be basically the same guy year on year and try and improve by 1% a day like a pussy, get out of here. When I heard that, I burst out laughing because he's talking about me. I mean, obviously he didn't watch any of my videos and he's not talking about me specifically, but yes, he is talking about me as that guy trying to get 1% better every day. He explains what he means. If you want to really have that fast progress where you look back to yourself every three months and almost cringe at how different you used to be. Like, you know, like if you, you'll relate to what I'm saying if you're this type of guy where you cringe at just how you used to be a few months because of how much you've changed since then. That's the kind of guy that I would want in my tribe because you're rapidly evolving whilst most people, including those on self-improvement, cannot catch up to this. So Hamza is saying that an improvement of 1% better every day is not fast enough. Now, I get where he's coming from, knowing that Hamza drastically changes life in a few years from living off government welfare to becoming a millionaire, but I think he's totally wrong about 1% better every day not being enough. James Clear made this concept of 1% better every day popular in his book, Atomic Habits. Here's a graph showing what happens if you get 1% better every day. If you get 1% better every day for a full year, 365 days, you are over 37 times better than you were in day one. 37 times! So in that sense, even 1% better every day is probably unrealistic. But as Jordan Peterson says, even a tenth of a percent better every week can be transformative. It's okay to, to not be in a very good place if what you're trying to do with that not very good place is make it better. And one of the things I really have learned as a clinical psychologist is that you just cannot believe how powerful incremental progress is. You can, you can do the calculations like, it's like compound interest, you know. If you make your life a tenth of a percent better a week, man, in two or three years, you're, you're in such a better place than you were that it isn't, even like the same domain and if you keep that up for 10 years or 20 years you know especially if you're young and you start early you start to straighten yourself out and and fix the things that you can fix you can transform your lives in ways that are completely unimaginable and god only knows what the upper limit of that is in terms of human possibility because we are amazing creatures you know when we really get our act together and stop running at 10 percent of our capacity that's such a powerful message even a tenth of a percent better every week or no matter how small if you keep improving every week your life will be transformed and unrecognizable in a couple of years now hamza says to radically change your life if you want radical success go to bed by 6.30 p.m. and wake up at 3.30 a.m. like him. Work for four hours first thing in the morning, work out for an hour every day, read books for three to four hours every day, do what he does to radically change your life. But what if you can't even get yourself to clean your room? What if you're doom scrolling for four hours every day? Can you really get yourself to stick to a strict routine like Hamza's? What'll happen if you try to change everything in your daily routine all at once is that you'll probably fail. You can't optimize a habit that isn't established. The habits have to be established first before they can be improved. A more realistic approach to get permanent change change that lasts is to change one little thing at a time. What happens when you do this is that at first, there won't be much of a change at all. Yesterday will be similar to today. But over time, you build momentum, you build inertia, you stop one bad habit, you build one good habit, and the good habits start stacking up on top of each other. Within five months, you'll see a noticeable change. This happened to me. My 1% better day one video started with me going for a walk at night because I had a very unproductive day. But I started posting on YouTube every day. I started reading more, sharing what I've learned from those books in my daily videos. A month ago, I started going to the gym for more than an hour at a time, which I thought I'd never do. Recently, I started time logging, tracking how I spend my time every day. All these changes didn't happen overnight. They happened within five months though. I don't know how much better I am than day one, but I am quite a bit better and I'm just getting started. Some days and weeks I slip. Maybe I binge YouTube or TV for hours, 
but slowly I am becoming more productive with my time and I feel like I'm on an upward trajectory. Once I get back home to Canada, I want to drastically cut my YouTube watching time, post at least two weekly videos on top of my daily videos and read books for at least one hour almost every day. I'm sure that if I keep improving incrementally like I am now, my body and life will be drastically different in a couple years. Incremental improvement is powerful. Hamza shouldn't underestimate the power of incremental improvement and neither should you. So 1% better every day, baby.